Hello, hello. All right, guys. This is contouring and highlighting for mature skin. Now, don't be mad at me. I'm going to say who mature skin is. And that is anyone over 30. Okay? 35. Sorry. We'll go 35. Okay? So, contouring and highlighting for anyone over 35 years old. And that includes me. So, I'm trying to figure this out and I'm going to show you what's worked for me and what kind of what I've been doing. All right. So first of all, I have my foundation on already. And one thing that I showed you guys in the, um, in the video that I did on my group, um, in my event, if you're not in the event, please let me know. I can put you in it is that you need to make sure that you're pushing the foundation in firmly okay you're pushing it in you're priming your face you're spraying it afterwards you're pushing the foundation in um, then I want you to find a brush that you can use um, with your concealer or your powder I'm gonna use concealer this time but normally hold on but normally I would use powder Okay, I would use my pressed powder and try to lighten that way, but I'm gonna use concealer this time because I know some people do that. Um, now, if you are under 35, you're gonna watch a lot of videos online that tell you to put a V here. And I was doing that too, so I'm not saying that they're wrong. They are right. Um, however, if you look at my eyes, I have a lot of kind of sagginess there, you know? Especially if I'm tired, because I have a toddler. <laughs> But this will work for you a little better. So what you need to do is use a brush and you're going to want to put the concealer not in a V, okay? You want to use as little as possible. Hey, Ashley. Um, you want to use as little as possible, but you want to put it where you would see a shadow. So for skin that is more mature, you might have... A shadow here which I did have you saw it before I started all right um, now before you do this this might help you and I'm gonna show you what to do or tell you at least okay use must do because the skin around your eyes it dries as you age and so that's gonna give you that kind of loose skin it's dry you know, you don't have that tight, high and tight. You're not high and tight anymore. That's the way we are, right? So because of that, you want to try, I saw this trick online, try some must-do. You can even put it on your beauty blender and put it under your eye right here, okay? So that is going to help you with moisture, and it's also going to help as you put the concealer on. And I watched a girl do this. It was really amazing. And I know so many of you have ordered um, the concealer and the must-do, so you already have it, which is really great. Okay, so I'm going to blend this out, but I wanted to show you kind of where to put these highlights. Um, a lot of times you'll see videos where people will darken all the way around their hairline here. When you um, have mature skin, you're going to actually lighten. Okay, so go ahead and lighten at your temples and you guys can come back and watch this later and you can have your makeup out and try it. Okay, so you're lightening there. You can also lighten, do a highlight right down the middle of your nose and this is something that a lot of people do even younger so this is not just for those of us who have mature skin. All right, so right down the middle. I'm going to contour the outside, so I'm not going to um, put it all over my nose. And also, if you have, like, this fold here, like I have, you can put that highlight right there in that fold. You don't want to put too much. And this is going to look really funky. But you can put this right there. I'm going to try to make sure that we have my face above the 
scrolling. I should probably just get rid of it, but I can't tell if my face is above it if I get rid of it. Okay, so you can put that highlight there. So basically when you highlight and you have mature skin, you can highlight anywhere that has a shadow, okay? Anywhere that you see a shadow that you don't want to see, you're going to highlight that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and try to blend this out a little bit, and you're being very gentle. Be gentle with the skin around your eyes. Be very, very gentle. And you're still pushing it in. Now you can do this before. I've seen this done with liquid um, or with cream. Yeah, I've seen this done with cream highlighter before foundation is applied. I've already applied my foundation and that is fine either way. Um, and I've also seen it done with powder after foundation is applied. So it's really your preference. You're going to still see the highlight and the contour shine through. It's just not going to be as prominent. All right. So I don't want to totally get rid of it. You can still see it. I just want to brighten myself up there a little. Okay. And I always have a little darkness in there, so I put it in there. Okay, so you see where the highlights are. They're in the right places around my eyes to brighten um, in this fold here. And it kind of makes it where you can't see that shadow as much and that's what we're going for. So if you have your must do, use that under your eye with your beauty blender right before and that will help you with the moisture and you can even do that at night just put it right under your eyes give yourself a little extra moisture all right now let's do some let's do some contouring let me see which brush I want to use here I'm gonna be very intentional with this right at first so that you guys can see where I'm putting it all right so first of all Oh wait, I missed a place. Hold on, let me go back. I missed a place for my highlight, guys. And you can tell, look at my little lines here. I'm working really hard to get rid of those, but if you have lines up here, um, I don't have them going this way anymore. Since I use Sotox, I've gotten rid of those. But I still have these two. Are those my frown lines? I think I have frown lines. <laughs> and you can. <laughs> lessen your frown lines by putting some highlight in them. All right, now the contouring. So the main place you see contouring is here, and people say suck in, right, if you do this, but when I do that, look what it does around my mouth. It gives me wrinkles, don't do that, don't suck your mouth in, okay? If you have mature skin already, don't suck your mouth in, <laughs> okay? Um, we can do it without sucking our mouth in and creating more wrinkles. So what you're gonna do, um, you can feel around, but the easiest way to do it is go from the top of your ear to your mouth, okay? Top of your ear to your mouth, and that line there that it's creating, that line is where you wanna contour, okay? So you wanna start at your hairline, and you want to go in. Now, some people will contour all the way in, like, and kind of scoop up here to really chisel out their cheek. But um, I would say go about to, not even mid-eye. I would say you want to go maybe to your eye here, the end of your eye. All right. And you're going to do that on both sides. I know a lot of people will do it lower. You wanna make sure they're even. I don't have this one even. Guys, you gotta tell me these things. I can hear my kids upstairs. They're in my room probably making an enormous mess. Okay, so you're gonna contour from, go from the ear to the mouth and get a line. Stop about right here, okay? Now, another place you contour is up here Okay, I'm just going to put some up there. This is not mixed in, and you know, I haven't, um, I haven't done anything with it, so don't worry, I'm going to rub it in. I'm going to blend it out. 
But remember that we're avoiding this area. And I wasn't doing that before. I was darkening this area before. But then, I, you know, you look kind of sunken in here. So you don't want to do that unless you have very tight skin. And you can keep doing that. Um, the other place you want to do is your jawline. If you're like me, there's one place on your jawline that you notice more than others, right? And it's right here where you kind of have that jaw, that saggy place, okay? And even though I know you're all using One Drop Wonder and Sotox to tighten your face, you can bring this contour up a little bit right there. And that helps kind of give the illusion that that skin is, that skin is not sagging, all right? So you can do that. There are illusions that we can do with our skin. So I'm just going to use, normally I use this to apply it because I don't do it very precisely, but since I was showing you what I'm doing, oh wait, I need to put my nose on, um, but since I was showing you what I'm doing, I'm going to use this to blend it out when I do it. Now your nose, you want to, if you have a very wide nose and you want to make it look thinner, you can contour around it. Um, my nose is crooked and I have not figured out, like I didn't even realize it was until I started doing this, but I haven't figured out how to fix that. But you can go all the way from here down if you want. And you're just going to draw that line to thin your nose a little bit. You can make your nose as thin as you want it. But, now another fun thing that people with mature skin, and we'll just say as we get older, because I think that's kind of all of us, as we get older, our nose and ears keep growing, right? So, kind of give yourself a little button down there, and it creates this illusion that your nose is stopped. It's shorter than it is, all right? So give yourself a little contour down there. Now, if your nose is very wide, you can also create the shadow on this part, okay? If you don't want, man, it looks all closed off. That, that worked quickly, didn't it? So if you wanna create that shadow there too, to kind of make your nostril look a little smaller, you can do that. So really, it's all illusion, and you're creating the shadows that you want, and you're using the highlighter to get rid of the shadows that you don't want. So I use this, this brush is a really tight, it's not a sponge, it's an actual brush. I got this at Marshalls and I really love it a lot. Um, but when I went back to get them, I couldn't find it. And all I'm doing here is blending it out so that it's not a hard line, but I don't wanna totally get rid of it. So I wanna make sure I don't blend too much. Okay, so. And plus, when you strategically place your contouring and your highlighting, you don't want it to move too much because you want to make sure it stays where you put it. So you're going to be very careful when you're blending out those lines. I always like my nose the best. It really, it really slims it. And I'm not sure why this light is so crazy today. Excuse me, it's usually not that bad. So I go back in, kind of blend a little bit more. Now, you're gonna add some blush here, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, a lot of times I will add a little bit more up here, and you wanna make sure you blend it into your hairline so you don't have that weird color difference. And I'm getting those widow's peaks. Don't make fun of me, I have to pick that up and blend it in. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So you've got your contour here, which I will blend out with my blush, and you've got your contour here, but highlight here for mature skin, highlight here for mature skin, but not too thick. Don't go all the way under the eye with very thick um, concealer because it will cake there and you have the wrinkles that will settle into those and you don't want that. Um, and then your chin and jawline. You want to get that, and then you can bring it up here if you want to create a little bit more shape there. Okay, and then if you have these folds by your nose, you can put some highlight there, and of course shape your nose how you want it. 
If you guys need any more tips on this, let me know and I can do another video that specifically deals with whatever you want to know about it. So I use this blush to work that in. All right, guys. I am going to get off here for the evening. I hope that you got some value out of this and I will talk to you guys later.